Activity 9. Do you see what I see? Our robot can sense its surroundings, but let's write a program that helps our robot make decisions. From the 4-H project that we set up earlier, click on the plus sign to make a new program. Double click on the program name to change it to follow line. Close the content editor area to allow more room if necessary. The first step in creating a robot that can follow a line is to set up a loop. This allows the robot to keep following the line over time. From the flow control palette, drag the loop block after the start block. Next, we are going to use a block called a switch. This is also in the flow control palette. When you drag this block up, be sure to put it inside of the loop. You may need to use the pan tool here. You may notice that the switch block splits into an upper path and a lower path. This is where you tell your robot how to make a decision. First, let's change the sensor type. Select color sensor, then compare, and finally, click on the reflected light intensity. By making this change, our robot will use the color sensor to see how dark a printed line is. The threshold value should be set to 50 by default, but if it has another value, change it to 50. We need to change the compare type. The default setting is less than. We are going to change it to greater than or equal to. This means that if the color sensor sees a light intensity that is 50 or above, it will go along the top path and if it sees a light intensity lighter than 50, it will take the bottom path. Along the top path, add a large motor block. Change the port to C. Turn this motor off. Drag another large motor block behind the one we just added. Change this port to B. This motor should be set to ON. Make sure that the power is 50. Drag another large motor block up, but put this one in the bottom path. Change the port to B and turn the motor off. Drag the final large motor block and place it last on the bottom path. This port should be set to C and the motor should be set to ON. Check to be sure that the power is 50. Save your work. Connect your robot to your computer and download the program. Unplug your robot and run the program. You will notice your robot inch its way down the line, making the right and left turns based on the color sensor's reading. If your robot is not following the line, you may need to adjust the threshold value to match the lighting in your room. Please read the rest of the activity, and then move on to Activity 10.